Hello guys, how are you? Today we'll talk about functions. Functions are something very interesting that let us group a little code block that can execute more than one statement. So we'll start with our classic pragma solidity, carrot 0.4.0, and we'll create our contract functions. This will start having a string, a public one called text, and it will be just be an empty text. We will change it this with the our functions we also have will have a number that will monitor the number of changes that we do to this string and it will start with the value zero <clears throat> okay so we start with our function that will be changed to hello this function it's written like this and we want to modify the text so text will be equal to hello world and this will also uh, have the number of changes plus equals one because we want to know how many times we have changed this, this text to hello world. To make it more interesting, we will create another function that will be named call change to hello. This function will interact with the other function and it will call it as well. So this is how you call a function within a function. But we want to make it a little more interesting. We will create an if number of changes equal equals two. So at the second change, we want to make something more interesting. Instead of just calling change to hello, we also want to call change to buy. This is a function that is not yet defined, but it will be the same function as this one. We will change the name, change to buy and it, this will change by. So let's begin. I will create the contract. You will see that the string is, is empty. I will, will call change to hello function. It will be executed. Now we can see that the string value is hello world. Now number of changes has the value of one. So now I will call, call change to hello and it will change it to hello world. But since it, the number will be equal to two this time, it will change to change to by executed and you see now it's by so functions let you group a lot of code and it's very awesome you will see more tutorials in the future that will use a lot of functions because are the core thing to development thanks bye